we're now going to talk about evaluating exponential functions. And the easiest way to do this is to use a calculator. Because we remember that our domain is any real number, so we may be getting really crazy things in our exponent, and so we want a calculator to be able to do this. If there's two buttons on your calculator, well, there's one of two buttons. There's what we call the caret, or there's this x to the y power button. And you need one of these two buttons on your calculator to do this, and every calculator has them. And so, as our example, we're going to do the following. We're going to do 2 to the 1.4, 2 to the 1.41, 2 to the 1.414, and 2 to the square root of 2, just to emphasize the difference in why we want a calculator here and what, what the importance of rounding is. So to do this, I'm going to change this so I can see both of these at the same time. And so we're going to do 2 to the 1.4 and we get 2.63 and I'm going to go to 1.6. Let's go six decimal places just to show the difference. And you notice that all these are fairly similar. 2 to the 1.41. That didn't work, so let's try again. 1.41. 2.63. Two when we round, because we are going to round these. And then we're going to do two to the let's see, one point four one four, which is two point six six four seven five zero. And the last one is two to the square root. So we're going to do a parenthesis square root, and we've got to back up. Let's start that over. This is 2 to the parenthesis square root of 2. Close parenthesis equals. And we see that we have 2.665144. So, the entire point of this is to show how to use a calculator to evaluate, and to show why we don't like rounding Look at the difference, 1.4, 1.41, 1.414 versus the full thing, well, as close to it as our calculator gets, and the difference that that power makes. So as little as possible, you want to round what you're working.